Because you guys love the ice in resin video from the other day, I figured I'd try it again, but this time we'll do things a little different. I'm going to take some of your suggestions and see if we can make it better. So there were two suggestions that I saw over and over again. One was to try and degas the water so we got clear ice, and the other one was to try and coat it in UV resin to seal it. Now they're the two major changes I'm going to do, but I'm also going to add a jellyfish into one, and instead of colouring the resin blue, I'm going to colour the water blue. Now that we have our degassed water, it's time to put it into the mould. Now there is one other thing I'm going to try. I've got these little glitter flakes here. So in the one that we do with the jellyfish, I'm going to add some of these flakes. Now that we have the water poured, it's time to pop these in the freezer. So I've been playing around with this ice for a couple of days now, and I just can't seem to get it clear. We've got the degassed water, which didn't seem to work. I also tried boiling the water first, then degassing it. That didn't work. Then I also tried using hot water straight out of the kettle. That didn't seem to work. So I'm really not too sure how I'm going to get this. But now that I think about it, I think we do need a little bit of air. Otherwise, we're not going to get that little bit of air pocket that will create that swish for us. So I think we're just going to give it a go. Now I'll just give this a quick degas. And now it becomes a waiting game. We just gotta wait for this resin to heat up. While we're waiting, check out these new eggs I've been working on. If you guys are interested in any of these, they're available in my Etsy store. It's getting warmer. Okay, we're getting really hot now. Got my ice cube ready to go. Man, we are so close now. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. That's it. Not where I wanted it. I can't move it. Well, it's in. Like I said, not where I wanted it, but we are in. All right. That's it. Wait for it to melt.
So while that's cooling down, we need to try another suggestion. And that was coating one of these ice cubes in UV resin. So I've got these cool little Lego figures. Got myself some UV resin. Let's just try and coat it. This is certainly one of the most unusual things I've ever done. It'll be interesting to see if it works though. It's looking pretty good. It's now a case of just finding these little leaks. So while we're waiting for that Lego figure to cure, we can get back to working on this one. Now a lot of you guys suggested in the first video that instead of making the ball, I should have made a cube shape. So that's what we'll do with this one. I know you guys really wanted to see a cube, but unfortunately the ice just drifted too far to the side in the cup and I couldn't quite get the cube shape, but I have made a treasure chest. Now I've just got to sand and polish it. Before we check out the jellyfish, let me go get the Lego man. Well there it is. It doesn't quite look like the Lego man anymore. I mean it kind of has the shape, but not really. So I guess it kind of did work. I was able to paint the ice in UV resin and get it to cure. I mean it's not pretty, but it did work. So as a proof of concept I'd give it an A, but as far as practicality goes, it's probably a D. So now let's check out this jellyfish and see if it looks a bit better. It's not bad. Looks pretty good. Now unfortunately the jellyfish is somehow stuck there. Now you probably noticed when the ice cube was melting that the jellyfish sunk to the bottom. So I assumed it would be free floating. But that's not the case. It's jammed in that position. So whether or not it touched a bit of wet resin and is now set there, I'm not too sure. Now you're probably asking yourself, where's all the glitter gone? Well, unfortunately that was a different casting. I ended up waiting too long to put the ice cube in and it just went so bad. So I aborted this one and I tried again. And that's when I didn't wait long enough. And this was another fail. And that's how we ended up coming up with this one. This was the third attempt. Now it's still not perfect, but it's definitely better than these two. There is one thing I want to try to unstick the jellyfish and let's put this back in the freezer and see if we can refreeze it. I'll show you the results of how that goes in this week's video when I cut open this egg. Well that's all for this week's video, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.